guys, welcome to ITS Tactical. On today's Knot of the Week, we're going to tie a diamond hitch. And if you'll follow me down here to this board that I've created, um, basically what we've got is a board mounted with six uh, eyelets. So this is to kind of create a, I guess, a replica of uh, lashing points or tie down points. And what the diamond hitch is used for is to secure loads. So I'll be showing it with a pelican case today, and we're going to put this in the middle, and I'll show how the diamond hitch can actually secure this load. But if you'll kind of visualize with me on this board, and um, it's really kind of creating the layout of um, six lashing points wherever they might be on your vehicle, on your truck, on your off-road vehicle, um, even a pack animal or something like that. So this uh, diamond hitch is used to distribute or compensate for shifts in the movement of an item as, as you lash it down. So the first step in this, um, and I'm just going to be using a, kind of a, I guess a two half hitches here to, to start the knot, but what you want to do is find your, I guess your midpoint of your lashing. So I'm going to be starting here with this um, eyelet here, and you're just going to start by securing it however you want to. I'm just going to use two half hitches like I said, but... Um, Depending on what kind of load you have, obviously, if you want to use something more secure, you can. So the first step is going to be placing your item that you're going to be securing in the middle, um, starting th this uh, diamond lashing, or diamond hitch, sorry, on this midpoint. So after you run your line across that, and I'm demonstrating here with paracord, um, but this really can be used with any kind of um, rope or twine or anything like that, anything you want to lash with. So once you get it past that first point, you're going to come to your eyelet across from that and come back through. After that, spin this around here and we'll come back to our starting point. And you're going to come back through that same eyelet here that you started with and essentially create that. So now, you've got two lines here, and the next step, while you're kind of holding tension with this side, you're going to take this and you're just going to twist it. And I'm going to twist this about six times or so, and what's, what you're creating is that diamond pattern in the middle. So, lift this up if you can kind of see that diamond pattern that's created. So once you have that diamond pattern, you're going to make sure that you don't lose that and bring your line and you can you can put a finger in there too to hold that secure while you're doing these other steps but you're going to come to the top here come through this eyelet now this is the important part this is kind of the beginning step of this once you've gotten through that eyelet you're going to come through the back side of the diamond pattern in the middle and you can see that that kind of starts creating this uh, diamond hitch now we'll come, let me move this board again, come to the side here and route this line through this eyelet. And the important step here too, I'm going to turn this all the way around now, is that after you come through this eyelet, you're going to come back through the middle of this diamond from the back side again, and then down to the eyelet here. So now we'll come through this eyelet, just like so, and now again back through the diamond pattern in the middle. So at this point you might want to take a second to kind of adjust what you've been doing, um, kind of help distribute what's going on, make sure there's no awkward twists in your lines. I'm going to tighten this up just a little bit at this point. So you can kind of really start to see that that diamond pattern in the middle getting formed. That's exactly what you want. Just like so. Now we'll come to this uppermost last eyelet here. And we're going to come through that. And that will realistically be the last point at which we're going to lash this down to will be this front eyelet. Now to secure this we're going to come back to our starting eyelet Come back through here and secure it. 
Now at this point, before you tie it off, you might want to do another adjustment. Make sure things are nice and tight like you like them. I'm just going to kind of twist, tweak all those lines. And again, I'm going to follow this up with a couple of half hitches here to secure it. And that's going to secure it to the starting eyelet. And as you can see, that's not going anywhere at this point. So it's really great for tying down loads. Um, as I said, it can be used for anything from the top of a roof rack from a four-wheel drive vehicle to a pack mule that may have some lashing points on it. Um, really, it's a pretty versatile knot. It can even be used in your truck bed if you've got six different lashing points. And obviously, if you've only got four lashing points, you could kind of modify this to, to uh, I guess, take the place of six lashing points. But for the most part, it really works best if you have six um, and you get that nice diamond pattern in the middle, which I think secures it even more. So there you have it. This has been the Diamond Hitch with ITS Tactical Knot of the Week. Thanks for watching.